My name is Sylvia Elliott, and I am a financial representative with Mass Mutual, New Jersey, New York. I am very happy to be here with you today and tell you my story about how I made it to where I am today. First of all, I am originally from Mexico City. I am married to Alan Elliott. He is from Paris, France, and we have a son, Isaac Jonathan. He is 25 years old. Now, let me tell you a little bit about my professional experience. I have over 25 years of uh, experience um, in corporate America. My background is in business and marketing. So when I was in corporate, I work with companies such as PepsiCo, Hertz, and uh, a few of the very important large international chains in um, hospitality industry. This is with hotels such as Marriott, Melia, and Hilton. And after that, I work with a media company, TV media company, the largest in Latin America, that is called Televisa. 26 years ago, we came to this country and I found Western Union International. As you probably know, if you have heard the name, Western Union is the leader in money transfer. When I was at Western Union, I also held different positions, uh, managerial positions, and uh, I hired over 35 employees um, that worked with me and supported uh, me with uh, uh, different marketing programs um, in multicultural. After all this many years of working at Western Union uh, from a director's position to uh, vice president of marketing for the uh, Northeast region, after 18 years, I decided it was time for a change. So I left Western Union five plus years ago, and then I was a marketing consultant for uh, some also of the big advertising agencies in New York and a few other places in the U.S. This was pre-COVID. When COVID hit, I uh, wanted to do uh, something different. And uh, that's how I found Mass Mutual. When I was at Western Union, I had the opportunity to talk about uh, financial education, uh, even though it was for a different product, but the principles are the same. I wanted to help people, and I uh, really found that with Mass Mutual, I can do I can do that. Financial literacy is very important, and is something that uh, uh, people need at this at this moment in time. So today, we're going to talk about the top ten key factors to consider when opening a small business. The first one is knowledge about your business. It is very important to know your business. If you're going to open a business, you need to have knowledge and expertise on that business in order to succeed. Second point is passion. You need to have passion for the business, passion for what you're going to do. That is what is going to help you and propel you during those days that things are not going well. The third key factor is know your target market. That is very important. You need to know who your customers are, where uh, they are, what is their, um, their need, what is their intent, um, and uh, location for where they are at in relation to your business. The other very important factor is business location. Probably you have heard about that saying that says location, location, location. And this is very true and very important when opening a business. Either if this is a retail store, um, they need to be in a place where they are visible to their customers and um, that they are um, going to be um, very strategic about their business because they also need to understand their competition. So very important to know your competition in relation to your business location. And then look at four points of differentiation besides the location. So your hours of operation for the store, the um, security of the location, uh, if, there, if that uh, area is conducive for business, um, and uh, very important, the traffic around it, right? Because if you are, again, a retail store, you need to have the traffic. So you need to be visible. The other important factor is the economy. The economy of a country. It is very important when you decide when to do a business. So you have to look at what impact that is going to have in your business, if any. 
The other one is your capital. Before opening a business, you need to know how much are you going to need to open the business. And do you have enough? What do you need to do in order to raise that capital? Either you have it yourself and you have uh, saved for that in preparation to open your business, or you are um, getting a loan from a bank, or you have a partner. There are so many different things that you have to look at uh, for your capital, but it's important that you consider it. And also it's important to have a backup financial plan. So if the capital that you were trying to raise uh, is not enough, you need to know what is going to happen if that initial capital is, uh, is, is, is just uh, um, going to be used up. So then how are you going to complement your uh, initial capital uh, that you have put up in the, in, the, uh, in the plan, right? And for that, you need a budget. It is important to understand what are you going to be um, using the money for, right? So it's very important to have a budget. You need to know how many employees you're going to have, what are you going to pay um, in salaries, benefits, expenses, operations, HR, legal, accounting, etc. So very important to have a budget when you are looking into your capital. The other one is time, timing and time management. Again, timing is everything. So if you take into account all of the other considerations that I mentioned earlier about location, economy, etc., then you will know if this is the right time to open your business. And time management. There is a saying also that says you will get out of, of, of your business depending on, on what time you put in. So at the beginning, a lot of business owners spend many, many hours in their, in their shop or in their business looking at every single thing. So this is their baby. So that's where the, the passion is also coming into play. So that's an important factor. Then the profit in the business. It is very important when we talked about the consumer, we need to know what products and services we are offering uh, and how are we going to make money. The profit in the business is what is going to keep us going. So you need to understand what is that percentage of, uh, uh, of revenue that you are going to have, right? It's like, you're going to sell something. How much am I going to make after all of the, the expenses? And uh, what is that going to be my profit? How much of that is going to the bank and how much of that uh, I can use to put more money in. So that's also part of the capital. So you save and you put in, and then of course you pay your expenses. So in conclusion, during the business, you can have fun, right? It is exciting when you open a new business, but you have to be very careful about, and very smart about how you do it. So these are the things that you have to consider. Many, many, many business owners, uh, really have seen their business collapsed because they do not have the financial um, support or they do not have their basics uh, in, put in place correctly. So it is very important to consider those, those key points uh, when you start the business. I hope this was helpful.